friends, this video is for our first grade team for July week two. All summer long, we've been learning about making waves. What you do today can change the world around you. And in the curriculum, the memory verse has changed for the month of July, but we are gonna keep the same memory verse, um, Galatians 5, 22 through 23, the fruit of the spirit, because that's what we are talking about all summer long. In June, we learned about love, joy, peace, and patience. Last week we learned about kindness, and this week we are going to talk about goodness. So, um, we're going to head to Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16. Matthew records the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus taught his followers what it looks like to live as part of God's kingdom. Jesus says that we are like the light in the darkness and salt to flavor food. We're a city on a hill that points others to God. God gave us so much through Jesus, and we can show others what God is like with how we act. So our bottom line, show God's goodness to others. When we understand that God has been so good to us through Jesus, we can't help but show that same goodness to others. So from being kind to helping others, we hope kids develop some great ideas to point others to Jesus with their actions. So jumping into our leader guide, we would love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage door room. The prayer team comes and prays over us and for us. And it is just such a great way to start our Sunday morning. And then we've also got coffee and donuts for you down there as well. Then just make sure that you are in the first grade room by 8.30 and 10.30 so that you're ready to roll when kids come in at 8.40 and 10.40. When they first come in, oh, I forgot to bring them down here, but we've got our coloring pages that we've had this whole summer. Um, this week, it's all different kinds of lights because we're talking about how we are um, like a light on a hill, a light in the darkness for other people. And so um, this week, that's what their coloring page is. Then when service starts at 9-11, if kids are still coloring happily or playing with toys, that's totally fine. If you'd like to do an interactivity, this bowl shuffle is the interactivity that you'll do. So just on your table, you're going to put three bowls face down. You know, this is like the hat dance at the Cardinal game. And um, I've got three objects in the bowl. You can start with just one object and kind of swoosh the bowls around. And then if you'd like to, you can put three different objects under three different bowls and see if kids can figure out where they're all at. So those are under here in your cart. I've got like a little Lego, a little toy, and a hair tie that you can use underneath the three bowls if you want your kids to guess. And then to close that down, you're just going to say, today we'll hear about something that definitely should not be hidden under a bowl or anything else. So that's your interactivity. Then at 10 after, you will head over to large group. Just try to make sure that you're right on time. That way we can end large group on time for our older kids to have um, the right amount of time at the end of service. When you get back, your little application game is going to be called Glowing Goodness. So what you are going to do is divide your group into two teams. And you're going to give each team 10 glow sticks and a set of goodness strips and tape. Um, Joella and Lisa might do this for you, especially first service while you're in large group. Um, so it just kind of depends. So you're going to tape the strip parallel behind, um, sorry, and they're going to tape a strip behind each stick parallel to it so that it appears that the paper is glowing. So the glow stick will be behind the piece of paper. And then um, inform kids that each act of goodness on each strip leads to another. So instruct them to arrange the acts of goodness in order to show how one act can make waves to another. And you're going to connect the glow sticks together to show how one act leads to another. So I'll show you. These are down in your cart. I don't have the glow sticks down there yet. But there's, um, you have four sets all together. So two sets for first service and two sets for second service. And so for example, this first one says, the family's playing at the park show goodness by watering the garden and sharing the vegetables with everyone on the block. So then you would need to find the paper that would, um, the neighborhood cleanup shows goodness by clearing trash and planting a garden in the park. Um, and then the families playing at the park show goodness by watering the garden and sharing vegetables with everyone on the block. And then that would lead to another one. So you definitely, you're gonna have to read these for your kids, kind of help them put it in order since they are obviously not able to read that super great yet. And just kind of show how one act of goodness leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, um, and how they all come together to make waves of goodness and talk about how we can do that in our own lives. Um, it's a great way to show that when we show God's goodness to others, it can change the world around us. And then maybe ask kids for some examples of God's goodness and how um, they um, how it feels when someone shows goodness to you and how it feels when you show goodness to someone else. Then um, for the next activity, for the memory verse activity, you're going to do this thing called feet wave. 
So you're not going to do this Philippians 1, 6. You're going to continue to practice Galatians 5, 22 through 23. And then you're going to have kids all line up against this wall, and they're going to lay on their backs, and they're going to put their feet up on the wall. And they are going to pass the beach ball down their feet so that their feet are kind of like a wave. It's going to be tricky. And you're going to try to say the memory verse as they pass the beach ball down their feet, and their feet are up on the wall. So they're going to pass the beach ball down and say one line of the verse as they pass it down. That will be super tricky, but a fun little challenge. And then to close down in prayer, um, you're just going to thank God for ways that um, allow us to show goodness to others so that when we show goodness to others, it shows people how good God is. That is it for this week, guys. Um, thank you so much for coming in and for serving with our first graders. I am so thankful for all of you. Oak Ridge Kids runs on volunteers. We would not be able to be teaching kids about God's goodness, about the Sermon on the Mount, about being a light that shines in the darkness, about being the salt of the earth if you guys didn't come and volunteer and be small group leaders. So thank you so much for what you do each and every week, and we'll see you on Sunday.